All right, guys, so today we're going to play some MX bikes. Uh, what I did was I went in and found a few tracks, custom tracks, and tried them out. There was a lot of them that were Supercross tracks that I really, 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 really wanted to play, and I really wanted to show you guys, but it's just, they're really, really hard. This game is is tough. It You know, we play a lot of arcade console games, and that's what we mostly play. So when I try to come to a, a simulation type of game, it's hard, and... For me, this game feels easier than Sim. Uh, with Sim, I am on the struggle bus a lot more than I am in this game. I mean, we are here too, but it just, I don't know, I feel more comfortable playing this game. And so this is Redbud. Uh, also downloaded, what else did I download? There was another track I was going to show you, but I decided to save that for a different video. So today is just uh, Redbud. The track was amazing. It was really well laid out. Uh, and what I have here is a few laps in first person. But after this lap, I do show you the, the replay, like the TV replay mode, which is really awesome. I really love that. And so that's what you're going to see after this lap. It is a different lap, but uh, you will see that after we finish here. And what I did was I was on the 450. wasn't a perfect lap. As you, as you see there, we did crash. But... Uh, what I did was I switched over to the 450. Usually I use the 250. I feel like it's just easier. If you're not really good at the game, uh, it's easier to uh, to play the game with the 250F. But uh, like uh, for LaRocco's Leap, and maybe it might have been that first triple. It was really, really tough to, to get over those. And I, I have no doubt that you can do it. But you have to have corner speed. And, and we don't have that. Here you can kind of just lug the 450 around you know put it in third around the corner and it's not a big deal and you can easily get over it uh, without any troubles and I did remap uh, G-Dub MX uh, he plays MX bikes go check him out he did uh, comment to me that you can just remap I mean I have some of the keys on the keyboard some of the things that I don't I don't feel like I'm gonna really use because I don't play multiplayer so it's a very casual experience for me I don't have to be in a hurry or whatever but uh, here you're going to see the 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 third person TV replay, which is pretty sweet. But what was I saying? It, I'm very casual, so I don't race multiplayer, so I don't have all the keys uh, binded to the or bound to the controller. But I did switch the tear off because, I mean, you have to be able to pull tear offs in the game. Your, your screen does get covered enough that it becomes very annoying if you don't. So I did rebind the the tear-off to the left D-pad, I believe, for me is what it is. And then you can pull it on the track. You can pull it over a jump uh, wherever you kind of want. So that's kind of how it is for me. Now, um, with, with simulation games, I kind of want to talk about that a bit. I think what makes it so hard is there's a lot more you have to think about when you're playing these games. I mean, they're they're more tough in general, right? They're just a harder game to play. And anybody that had to start out in sim or, or even this game or whatever sim, whether it's a car game or whatever kind of simulation game it is, everybody had to start out somewhere and learn it. And it's just there's, there's so much more you have to think about. There's so many more buttons you have to be aware of. And it's more of a realistic experience, even on a controller. And you could compare that to real life, but people ask me, do you ride in real life? Yes, I do. I've been riding. I mean, not near as much as I used to when I was a lot younger, but I still do ride a decent amount. And after you've rode for quite a while, you know, it kind of becomes a second nature. It's like tying your shoe. You don't really think about it. You just do it. And I know there's a lot to think about when you're riding a bike in real life, but for me at least, it's just a, it's it's become kind of a, a natural part of riding. You know, I don't really think about everything when I'm riding. It's just it's just emotion. You just do it kind of. And in simulation games like this, I haven't gotten to that point, so I don't have muscle memory. I'm not even sure I'm really happy. I'm not even really sure I'm happy with where all my, my buttons are bound. You know how I have everything. So. Yeah, it's, it's really tough, and I should play this game more. I mean, I haven't really played since that last video. I'm not going to lie to you, but it's fun. I mean, I do enjoy my experience, but I played, I mean, I didn't want to show you guys laps where I was crap.
crashing all the time and we were all over the place and off the track and just having a really hard time. I didn't want to show you all of that. So, uh, I mean, I hit the reset, return to pit, I bet over 50 times. This first corner here, the first two turns were just awful. It took, I, I, I just kept leaning the bike over. I think the, the thing for me about this game is it's really easy to push the front end. So the front end pushes out really easy and you go down. I think that's my biggest problem in the game. And then sometimes I'm not really sure how far I'm leaning over and then I lean over a little bit too much and we spin out or, you know, we just tip over. Uh, that is the hardest part for me. Trying to grab a rut. I mean, there's, I mean, there's actually plenty of fairly good ruts here that kind of do grab you, but you have to take it easy. And the 450 is even harder than, again, as I mentioned, the 250 is. So usually I use the 250. I was actually trying to use the 252 stroke too, but I had the same problem. Uh, the first triple wasn't the problem, but I could not get the corner speed to hit LaRocco's Leap. So I kind of got rid of that idea. I tried the 250F, didn't work. For me, I, I'm not good enough. And so I decided to go the easy route and just uh, lug the 450 around. And uh, I mean, I feel like we're definitely slower. I feel like if I did uh, lap times, I would be faster on the 250, even if we just double the leap because I can control the bike so much better than the 450. Uh, you don't have to have as much throttle control and just everything's a lot smoother. So yeah, I mean, I just wanted to show you this, guys. It's a really awesome track. If you have MX bikes, I highly encourage you to check it out. If you have MX bikes, I do recommend that you move it on over to Steam. Everything seems to work really, really good over there. All the mods seem to be working really good. I don't have any issue with that. Uh, before, when the game, uh, before the game was on Steam, I used to have issues with some mods not really working for me. I don't really know why, but every track I probably tried out, I don't know, a dozen different uh, tracks and all of them worked really, really well. It's not that hard to install mods. Uh, if you watch a tutorial, like I said, GW MX, uh, he plays a lot of MX bikes. He has uh, tutorials for how to install these mods. I highly recommend you go check him out. GW MX, he does uh, MX bikes and he's really good at the game and he has and he has tutorials on how to install these mods, so go check them out. Really good stuff, but you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately, and until the next video, take it easy. One thing I do want to add here at the very end is, uh, if you made it this far, uh, let me know in the comments, But uh, because I can see that. I can see how long and how far you guys get into the video, so I'm curious out of uh, the majority, or the average, uh, who made it to the very end here. Uh, one thing I do want to say here before we wrap up the video completely is two things. Um, if you're watching this, you either, well, if you're watching this, you probably have a curiosity in the game or in simulation games, or you like simulation games and just want to see me uh, try out some sim games, even if I'm really, really bad. So uh, let me know. Which would you rather see on the channel? Would you rather see MX bikes, even if I'm way, 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 way worse at it? Or would you rather, er, MX simulator, even though I'm way, 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 way worse at it? Or would you rather see MX bikes, a game that I enjoy more? And I'm not saying I'm good, okay? I'm not saying I'm good. Calm down if you're that guy. You, you're not good. You're not good, dude. Don't say you're good. I know I'm not good but I feel like I'm a little bit better at this game. I feel like I can get a hold of this game better than I can MX Simulator because I just don't have the time to play MX Simulator enough to ever get decent at it. But I'd still try, okay? I'm saying I'd still try. Uh, so which would you rather see? And if you do choose MX Bikes, would you rather see... I believe there's some open world free ride maps. I believe there, there is Supercross. There is uh, outdoor tracks. Outdoor tracks, for the most part, I can do better. Now, there is uh, Blake Baggett's uh, El Chupacabra. That is tough. That is tough. And I believe that came from MX Simulator. I believe somebody pretty much took that and then made a few changes and put it in MX Bikes. So uh, let me know in the comments what you guys would rather see, what you which, which game you would rather see, and... Uh, which tracks you'd rather see. If it's Supercross, I'm going to have to practice. But uh, 
yeah, so I'd like to know. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Again, and until the next video, take it easy.